Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from Sister Wigs, and we're gonna style some hair. Uh, this is my Piper wig. I've got her on a canvas blockhead on a stand, and she is held in place with a couple T pins on each of the ear tab. Now, what are we gonna be doing with this little Piper wig? I'm so happy you asked that. She's got some issues when you put her, when you first take her out of the box. Primarily, she takes on what I like to call taco head. She comes kind of flat packed because we're trying to save money, to save you money. And so because of that, she might come with like a crease, literally down the back of her. This is super easy to get rid of though. And this is may maybe even something you won't even experience. I just want to explain it just in case you do. Because not all of the Pipers have this issue, but you know, it just depends on like if they were at the bottom of the shipping box or at the top, if you catch my drift. So I want to show you how to do this just in case. You're going to want some anti-static spray. I'm going to use Simply Stylin for this. Um, you're also going to want a really good hair dryer. This is the Big Power by HAI Elite, um, but you don't need to use this hair dryer. What you want though is a concentrator tip. You want the ability to go on a lower setting because you don't want a ton of air blowing on this because that's friction, that's bad, that's static. Nah. But uh, you'll need a little bit of that usually to turn it on. And then you'll want the highest heat setting on here because the goal is we're just trying to get this hair warm. Remember that heat friendly synthetic fiber is not like human hair and the way that you style it is not exactly like human hair. You need to know that. A lot of people write in to our help desk, for example, and ask, you know, I keep trying to put a curl in my heat friendly synthetic wig. Why isn't it taking? Well, the reason why is because you're not holding it in place while it cools. You have to mold this hair and hold it in place while it cools. So the goal of what we're doing with this blow dryer is warming the hair up and then using our hand to gently smooth it down and hold it in place until it cools. It's pretty easy. You don't want it to get too hot. So you could even do this while the wig is on your head in most cases, if it's really mild. But if it's really significant or you have mobility problems, you'll wanna invest in getting a canvas block head with a stand, some T-pins and the whole thing, cause it'll make styling a lot easier, particularly if you have mobility issues. You don't have to worry about reaching around your head to do it. Voice over activated. Uh, I didn't want you to have to listen to the sound of the blow dryer the whole time. So I'm going to just do this in the editing. So I'm letting it heat up. I can kind of feel it in my hand that it's getting hot. And now what I'm doing is, you can see I've kind of got the wig at an angle. I'm gonna use gravity to my benefit. I'm gonna hold the hair down, heat it up, and then kind of mold it with my hand. This is also a wonderful technique to use if you have issues with flyaways and permatease on your heat friendly wigs and you would like to help kind of tame that, make it a little bit less squirrely looking on top. This is the best way to do it. Uh, you don't need um, a curling iron or a flat iron or any of that stuff. Those actually get a lot hotter than you actually need it to be in order to do this kind of styling. So I actually prefer to use a hair dryer because it's not as hot it's not as likely to uh, make you likely to pull and distort the fibers because that's another hazard with heat friendly synthetics when you go to heat style them. If you pull on them, they can actually stretch out really easily when they're warm and then they become kind of distorted. They get, they lose a little of their color because they get kind of stretched out and they just kind of look funky and jagged at the bottom. So to protect the wig, you want to use the lowest amount of heat that you possibly can. And if you really need a uh, high heat on your um, style in order to set it, like let's say you want to put a really tight spiral curl in it, I still highly recommend using wet heat aka steam instead of using dry heat like this because even though they're heat friendly wigs you want to be really careful about how you're styling them you can see what i'm doing here is really gentle i'm only blasting it with the hair dryer in a very concentrated fashion in a concentrated space for a second or two just enough to warm it up to the touch and then i'm using my hands to do the rest of the work i wanted to play this section in real time so you could really see how long this takes to do. You can see I'm handling it in relatively small sections, but I didn't need to break out sectioning clips or comb. You don't have to be necessarily that's that precise about it because I'm just trying to tame the top 
And the best tool for that is using the curve of my hand to give it a nice, soft, realistic shape with the help of that nice canvas blockhead. And you can see that I'm even taking this a step further and I'm doing it to the very front of the wig and that will help keep it from falling in my face, which is sort of a pet peeve of mine. You don't have to go that extra step, but if you don't like the fact that Piper kind of flies in your face a little bit, this is an easy way to fix that. And you can see most of the time that this hair dryer is on, it is not actually directed at the hair. I'm actually spending most of my time holding the hair in place with my hand, waiting until it feels cool, and then I'm moving on. Now I'm like talking over myself here, so I should rewind a little bit so that way you can actually hear whatever it is that I'm saying in this section. I don't even remember. I'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit. So I can really get this front. Okay, so that wasn't as riveting as I thought it was going to be. So yeah, I'm just going to go back to voiceover. You can see that, you know, this takes a little bit of patience because really waiting for it to cool in your hand takes a little bit of time. So you just put some music on, just kind of hang out and take your time with it so that way you're not tempted to pull on those fibers while they're still warm. And that way they don't get all funky and distorted. And I'm actually going to duplicate everything I just showed you in real time on the other half of the wig. And here are the results. So now this is what Piper looks like now that I've styled her, kind of tamed her and gotten rid of the box head. And this is a great styling technique that you can use with your Ignites by John Renaud. You can use it for, um, you know, basically any <laughs> permatized, heat-friendly bob where you might have a little bit of box head, you know, maybe it's been in storage and you're waiting to pull it out in the summer and then it comes out kind of cold crimped. That's an easy way to get rid of that. Note, I didn't actually pick on any of the dents. All I did was kind of push this back on the mannequin head. So gravity was doing a lot of the work, zapped it with the heat and held it. And that way also, when it cooled, it's now a little bit more off the face. <laughs> so it's not going to bother me quite as much. So I hope that this is a helpful tip. Uh, if so, please sure you let me know in the comments below, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon and my husband. And before I go, I just wanna say one more thing. If you are an online content creator, particularly here on YouTube, but basically anywhere, and you make tutorials of this nature for your own audience, you know, Feel free to share this technique with your audience and make a video just like this if you want to. All I would ask is that you please let people know that you learned it here first. I am an autodidact, which means that I'm self-taught. I don't, I don't actually learn these things on YouTube videos and then make them for my own content. And if I do, I will be sure to credit the person I got that technique from. Let's not do that. Let's be better than that. I'll be better than that to you. You be better than that to me. We'll be geeks together geeking out about some hair. So thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.